Hey everyone, I'm going to open up a cheap commercial guitar pedal. These sell at Aldi, uh, an Australian store called Aldi. I don't know if you guys internationally have Aldi, but um, it was they're really cheap. They're only about $25, and they're um, these little cheap Chinese um, guitar pedals. And I was testing, uh, we we're playing around with it at, um, at my brother-in-law's house, and I, I noticed that it sounded very much like a Rebot, and we actually opened up the back, and sure enough, it was actually a PT2399. Now I think that Dafen, the brand Dafen, actually make these. The Aldi brand is called Livingston. Um, so you've got a few options with, with something like this. If you couldn't be bothered building a Rebot, I'm predicting this thing's going to sound exactly like a Rebot. I'm actually going to test this against the two um, PT2399's based delays that I've actually already built, being the Mad Professor Deep Blue Delay and the Rebot 2.5 and see what it actually, how it actually compares. Um, or you could pull the board out and put in your own pedal, you know, like um, just maybe maybe put your own pots, um, wire, um, solder in your own pots as well, some more durable pots because these ones um, feel, I, I, don't, I don't even know what sort of pots they've actually used for this, they, they feel very cheap. Um, but anyway, we'll get into it, we'll have a look inside and um, see, what, um, see what's going on with the components and things like that and the construction quality. And the second one actually will be this chorus chorus pedal I'll do I'll open it up and we'll have a look at the chips inside um, and I'll do a um, sound demo maybe maybe we'll compare it with a um, my uh, I've got a pork uh, pork barrel mad bean pork barrel which is a, um, a boss ce2 and a, um, a small clone as well so we'll see how it sounds compared to a small clone because remember th these pedals are twenty five dollars each so if they sound decent you know you might be interested in getting one but um, anyway let's start with the delay. <clears throat> okay, so um, first thing we're going to notice on the front, uh, the model is E10-AD um, and um, it's the brand is Livingston, it says Music for Life. Um, it's a pretty good um, slogan actually because the guitar pedal is not going to be for life. Um, you, you'll be probably, it should probably be maybe Music for Months because that's probably about the time span that this thing's going to last. Um, and then you've got key features, um, delay and repeat effects compatible with a wide range of guitars and amplifiers what the hell that's interesting um, you'd, you'd hope so wouldn't you and battery or AC power flexibility AC adapter not supplied then on the side you've got specifications um, and you've got input impedance 1 ohm and output impedance actually this is quite interesting input impedance 1 ohm and output impedance over 10k which is I'm sure correct um, but it doesn't say anywhere in the in the um, specifications that it's true bypass and that's because it's not um, which is a big uh, well in my opinion it's a bit of a setback I don't like buffers I know some people I, I know what you use a buffer for I've built them and I know that some signal chains benefit from a buffer but I'd personally rather use my own buffer than one that's built into um, a guitar pedal that's my personal preference and that's got current draw 28 milliamps and then on the other side, we've got um, made in China, specifically made for Aldi stores to our stringent quality, <laughs> quality specifications. It actually says that. That's great. If you're not entirely satisfied with this product, please return it to your nearest Aldi store within 60 days from the date of purchase for a full refund or replacement or take advantage of our after-sales support by calling the customer service hotline. So you're going to ring them up and say um, the guitar pedal doesn't work anymore or something like that. That's interesting. One year warranty too. Um, it's got, uh, oh okay, so it's got a 60 day um, I'm not happy with it warranty, um, uh, return and a one year warranty. Alright, let's have a look inside. You've got a little um, a little manual. No, we, let's face it, we don't really care about that stuff. We just want to see the pedal, so let's get straight to it. Now, first off, it's plastic. The whole housing is plastic. Um, it's kind of this sort of a matte sort of plastic as well. Look, easily to easy, easily scratched, um, and um, yeah, it's got some things on the. It's got the things on the back here. It'll just be a normal um, boss type um, input on that, and it's just got the rubber bottom on the on the bottom of it. And on the bottom, it's got some text here, and it just basically says, "Unplug your guitar, um, unplug your guitar cable to 
stop the battery from running out. Um, if the LED is dim and does not light during operation, replace the battery. Oh, <laughs> if you need instructions for that, got to worry. Uh, operation is... Now, I read this before and I still don't understand it. Operation is subject to the following two conditions. This device may not cause harmful interference. This device may not cause harmful interference. This device must accept any interference received including interference that may cause undesired operation. Anyone understands what the hell that means? Uh, yeah, let me know because I've got no idea. Um, the pots don't feel, I know I said they, they, they're, they're bad, but they don't feel too bad, I guess. They might be 9mm pots or something, or there's probably some, some cheaper option. I mean, these are made for a price point, you know. They're not going to use alpha pots and things like that if they can save, 50, no, you know, five cents on another on another pot to keep the cost down they just have to use the cheapest possible parts that they can find so let's take a look on the inside of this thing so the screws aren't metal threaded they're um uh they're self tappers into the um plastic which is not a very good durability uh for durability sake but obviously you don't expect to go be going into the back of this part because the battery is actually um like boss like the boss style um uh, battery compartment under the actual foot switch. So on the inside we've got, um, see if I can get a bit of a close-up so you can see the actual circuitry if you're interested in this. So to start off with down the bottom here, that's the actual switch, the, the um, engage switch and you can see there's only six pins so it's not true bypass, there's a buffer um, and I think I can actually notice that there's um, a few transistors and things on the actual board that would suggest that it's a buffer, that, that, it's, that it's buffered and I'm sure that if it was true bypass true bypass you would see it written all over the box too and it's not on there either um, and these three top pins actually aren't um, aren't soldered but I think that's actually the way it's supposed to be I know there's um, pins that sometimes um, uh, manufacturers use pins that just insert and they make a connection um, in the hole so I don't think that's really much of a worry but up the top here let's see if I can just get this um, on the screen up the top there you can see where the pot wires are soldered onto. Half of them look like they're soldered and the other half look like they're not soldered. Um, and that's a bit of a concern because, um, yeah, I mean, they're all supposed to be soldered. It's just such a poor job that um, half of them aren't actually soldered. So first off, you can see this thing here. It looks like a transistor. It's actually a voltage regulator and it actually has on the board um, silk screen 78L05. Um, and uh, if you've ever built a PT2399 based um uh, circuit or effect you'd know that the PT2399 needs the 5 volt um, regulator to supply the voltage to the chip because the chip is actually digital um, it uses 5 volt in and you basically just set it up so that the um, this uh, external circuitry controls the internal settings of the chip so you know as you turn the potentiometer up it tells the digital chip to increase delay time or whatever the setting actually is so that's obviously an SMD23, uh, PT2399 as well. Um, the exact code is PT2399S if you're after, if you want to look into that. So the op amp that they've actually used as well is a C4558, um, which is an SMD4558, pretty standard sort of chip. Not really much else that's too interesting on this thing. Uh, you've got up the top there, there's a diode. Um, you can see that diode there, and it's actually got 4007. So that would definitely indicate that that is a reverse polarity protection diode. And I'm actually just going to pull these two bottom screws out down here and lift the board up so we can have a look at this switch. So I'm not going to open this up any further because um, the construction kind of concerns me. I don't want to break his pedal. So um, this is, I'm oh, just lifting this front up so we can see this switch under here. It's got this kind of flap that turns it on and off. That's what um, turns the pedal on and off, obviously, as you as you put push down on the top of the um, top of the box. And one final thing: there's no internal shielding for this thing. I can't see um, underneath. There's no there's no metal shielding underneath. The only shielding that it has is the back plate. This might suffice for a a, um, a, a delay, but um, you'd hope that maybe the I think they've actually got a metal, uh, you know, like a a heavy metal pedal, which is which is kind of funny, um, but yeah, you'd hope that that would have a bit more um, shielding than um, than um, this thing. It's just got this metal this this metal um, plate that sits on the back, and that's pretty much it for the shielding. 
So in the next video, I'm going to do a sound comparison between this thing and um, the the re the the um, uh, PT two three double nine bass delays that I've built. I don't expect much difference. I don't expect to hear much difference. But um, you never know if these with these with these um, results, maybe we'll hear a big difference. Maybe we won't. But um, uh, it should be interesting either way. So yeah, subscribe, um, hit the like button if you like the video, and thanks for watching.